still holding the curve. Gabia still wants him to go, but Desabe comes around the outside. Parzinski just moves with him. Bokhtari looking for some room on the inside, and they still go, don't go past Mo Farah. Mo just has a little bit of an acceleration. He has the ability to do that. And now the kick starts. Look at that. Away we go. Get your stopwatch out. Last 400 metres. This is for the crowd. This is to give them something to cheer about. The showman in Mo Farah coming to the fore here. Tomorrow he's going to be going down to his beloved Arsenal and will be managing a celebrity match down there, the celebrity team. Well, he's very much the celebrity here. Look at this. The others will have a fast last lap, but Mo Farah, if you want to see whether his speed's still there, here's the demonstration. Bang! Crowd on their feet in the home straight. This is what they came to see. The double Olympic champion. The man who's dominated European distance running as well for the last four years now. Mo Farah, maximum points for Great Britain. Bokhtari takes second place. And Kyochu third for Turkey. Blistering pace on the last lap. Which Mark Butler tells me was 51.1 seconds. That is quick. That's good for a 1500 meter runner if we're going slow. Well done, Mo Farah, that was impressive, Paula. The acceleration when he took off. In fact, the computer has confirmed 50.89. That might be a PB for him over 400. I think he'll be disappointed. I think he was shooting for Perry's time there. It looked like he was just ready to run a 400-metre time trial. He, he took off and he went for that. Maybe he realised down the straight that the wind was pretty strong, but certainly that's a personal best for Mo. And even behind him, I think Tari ran a pretty quick last lap there. Well, we knew he was going to win. We knew that he'd win with a kick, but that was a bit special. Mo Farah showing that all the pace is there. Next week it'll be very different. He's got Gebre Hewitt, he's got Ali Maru, he's got Kipsiro, he's got a whole host of the world's top 5,000 metre runners against him in Birmingham. And I don't think it'll be a 50 last lap on that occasion, but this will give him so much confidence because as we head towards Moscow, that kick is frightening. It's frightening what he can do. And that's what wins him when you're running that sort of speed on the last lap. The last 100 metres is hard work and this is into the wind as well. That's very impressive. And I think what you can notice there when you look at him is where Mo has gained in the last two or three years. I mean, there's no rocking and rolling in those shoulders at all. Given the speed that he's running at, you'd expect him to be tying up, but he's holding his form right to the line. Really, really strong and really, really stable. He almost forgot to do the Mobot there. But, uh...